in this lesson we will see uh, how an antivirus software detects whether the file has a virus present in it so in short we are going to discuss about the detection techniques the first one is the uh, signature based detection it is the most common method to identify viruses and other malwares antivirus software compares the contents of a file to dictionary of virus signatures because viruses can embed themselves in existing files the entire file is searched not just as a whole but also in pieces so basically signature detection technique is just comparing the contents of file and if you find that virus uh, in the dictionary as well as in the file then you declare it as a virus is found malicious activity detection uh, is uh, which is which is also known as uh, um, another way to identify malware in this approach antivirus software monitors the system for suspicious behavior program and the last one is the heuristic based detection like malicious activity detection heuristics can be used to identify unknown viruses so let us explore each of these methods in detail so signature based detection is the most common method that antivirus software uh, uses to identify malware this method is somewhat limited by the fact that it can only identify a limited amount of emerging threats that is generic or extremely broad signatures when antivirus software scans a file for viruses it checks the contents of file against a dictionary of virus signatures a virus signature is the viral code finding a virus signature in a file is the same as saying you found the virus itself if a virus signature is found in a file the antivirus software can take action to remove the virus antivirus software will usually perform one or more of the following actions quarantining repairing or deleting quarantining a file uh, will make it inaccessible and is usually the first action antivirus software will take if a malicious file is found encrypting the file is a good quarantine technique because it renders the file useless Sometimes a user wants to save the content of an infected file because viruses can sometimes embed themselves in the files called code injection and the file may be essential to normal operation to do this antivirus software will attempt to repair the file uh, to do this the software will try to remove the viral code from the file unfortunately some viruses might damage the file upon injection the third action antivirus or software can take against a virus is straight away deleting the file if a file repair operation fails usually the best thing to do is just to delete the file deleting the file is necessary if the entire file is infected and you may also lose the contents of the file because new viruses are being created each day the signature based detection approach requires frequent updates of the virus signature dictionary to assist the anti antivirus software companies the software may allow user to upload new viruses or variants to the company signature based antivirus software typically examines files when the computer's operating system creates opens closes or emails them in this way it can detect a known virus immediately upon receipt system administrators can schedule antivirus software to scan all the files on the computer hard disk at a set time and date although the signature based detection approach can effectively contain virus outbreaks in the right circumstances virus authors have tried to stay a deep ahead of such software by writing oligomorphic polygomorphic and other recently metamorphic viruses which encrypts parts of themselves or otherwise modify themselves as a method of disguise so as not to match the virus signatures in the dictionary so the main disadvantage of signature based detection is that you constantly need to update your database and since the virus makers are pretty intelligent they find some or the other way to escalate this signature based detection so the next uh, type of uh, detection technique is suspicious behavior of monitoring the suspicious behavior approach by contrast does not attempt to identify known viruses but instead monitors the behavior of all the programs if one program tries to write data to an ex executable program 
for example if the antivirus software can flag this suspicious behavior then it can alert the user and ask the user what actions are needed to be done taken unlike the signature based approach the suspicious behavior approach therefore provides protection against brand new viruses that do not yet exist in any virus dictionaries however it can also sound a large number of false positives and you know user may become desensitized to the warnings if a user clicks accept on every such warning then the antivirus software obviously gives no benefit to that user this problem has worsened since 1997 since many more non malicious programs designs to came to modify other .exe files without regard to this false positive issues in recent years however sophisticated behavior analysis has emerged which analyzes process and calls to the kernel in context before making a decision which gives it a lower false positive rate than rules based on behavior monitoring and the last one is heuristics uh, some of uh, more sophisticated antivirus softwares uses heuristic based approach to identify new malwares so in this way you hear two methods are used file analysis and file emulation as described above or in previous lecture uh, file analysis is the process by which antivirus software will analyze the instructions of a program based on the instructions the software can determine whether or not the program is malicious for example if the file contains instructions to delete important system files the file might be flagged as a virus while this method is useful for identifying new viruses and variants it can trigger many false alarms the second heuristic approach is file emulation by this the target file is run in a virtual machine environment separate from the real system environment the antivirus software would then log what actions the file takes in the virtual environment if the actions are found to be damaging the file will be marked as a virus but again this method can also trigger false alarms because you know it it solely depends upon the antivirus developer what uh, to decide how to decide whether uh, it is a virus or not uh, so these are the methods in which antivirus detection techniques work uh, and a virus remover tool uh, what generally Mm. antivirus consists of a virus removal tool which is a software for removing specific viruses from infected computers unlike complete antivirus scanners they are usually not intended to detect and remove an extensive list of viruses rather they are designed to remove specific viruses usually which are more effective than normal antivirus softwares so in the next lesson uh, we will see uh, okay we'll see in this lecture only so these are the types of uh, famous antivirus companies uh, since the beginning of uh, casper sky virus avaste antivirus trend micro antivirus and macafi and antivirus uh, to be honest with you there are dozens of companies available in the market who are currently selling the antivirus products but i would suggest that do not fall into prey of free antivirus softwares as there are no such software which totally prevent your system uh it is always better to pay to get your data uh, saved securely because you know once your data is lost it cannot it is very difficult to get your data back so i would uh, always suggest you to pay for some softwares and there is no such thing that this is which is the best software every company every software has its own distinctive features so i recommend you to uh, look properly before buying any software but do not fall prey to the free softwares that are available over the internet as these files can itself be a virus so stay alert and uh, look you know now we have understood what is antivirus software you can surely uh, look into detail